The birth of the future electrical genius, Nikola Tesla, began on a stormy summer night in 1856 in a tiny village called Smiljan, part of modern-day Croatia. The skies were restless. Thunder growling, lightning cracking across the horizon, as if the cosmos itself had decided to mark the arrival of a singular, world-changing genius. At the stroke of midnight on July 10th, Nikola Tesla was born. The midwife, caught somewhere between awe and fear, reportedly muttered, he'll be a child of the storm. But Tesla's mother, Juka Tesla, ever serene and composed, offered a prophetic correction, no, of light. And so, with these words, the legend of Nikola Tesla began. Juka Tesla was no ordinary woman. In a time when women's talents were often confined to the domestic sphere, Juka stood out as a quietly brilliant inventor, a force of nature in her own right. Her son would later write, I must trace to my mother's influence whatever inventiveness I possess. And her inventiveness was remarkable. From creating intricate tools for household tasks, to tying three knots in a single eyelash well into her 60s, Juka was the very definition of ingenuity. But more than her dexterity or creativity, it was her relentless spirit that left an indelible mark on young Nicola. My mother was indefatigable, he once wrote, recounting how she worked tirelessly from four in the morning until eleven at night, inspiring everyone around her. For Nicola, watching her was like watching magic unfold. But even as Juka embodied light and inspiration, Tesla's early life wasn't without challenges. He was a frail infant, baptized within 24 hours of his birth by a priest named Toma Oklobstja, who made the trek from nearby Gospic. Village lore adds an eerie layer to his story, claiming his heart was beating on the right side of his chest, as if this future innovator's body already defied convention. Growing up in Smiljan, surrounded by nature and steeped in the rich cultural traditions of his region, Nikola's mind began to wander. His father, Milutin Tesla, an Eastern Orthodox priest and a writer, dreamed of his son following in his footsteps. But Juka seemed to understand that her boy was destined for something different, something bigger, something extraordinary. Even as a child, Tesla was captivated by the forces of nature, often imagining how they might be harnessed. And the storms? He loved them. Perhaps because his own story began during a storm, or perhaps because he saw, even then, the untapped potential of that wild, untamed energy. Fast forward a few decades. By the late 1880s, Tesla had arrived in America, the land of opportunity, carrying nothing but a head full of dreams and the promise of a new life. His first job? Working for Thomas Edison? Yes, that Edison. It didn't take long for Tesla to make his mark. Within days, he was reworking Edison's clunky designs for DC, direct current systems, making them far more efficient. Edison, ever the businessman, promised Tesla $50,000 for his efforts. Spoiler alert, Tesla never saw that money. Edison waved him off, claiming it was just a joke. Tesla, outraged but undeterred, quit. If Tesla was storm energy, Edison was the grinding machine of practicality. Where Edison sought to commercialize, Tesla sought to innovate. And nowhere was this clash of philosophy more evident than in the War of the Currents. Edison was pushing DC electricity hard, but Tesla had a better idea, alternating current, AC, where DC electricity could only travel short distances and required bulky generators at every turn, AC was like the wind, capable of flowing over vast distances with minimal loss. It was clean, efficient, and revolutionary. Enter George Westinghouse, a Pittsburgh industrialist with an eye for innovation. He saw Tesla's genius and offered him a deal. Patent rights to AC for $60,000 in cash, stock options, and a hefty royalty per horsepower generated. For Tesla, this was it. AC was finally getting the backing it deserved. The AC versus DC showdown was brutal. 
Edison ran a smear campaign against AC, publicly electrocuting animals to demonstrate its dangers. At one point, he even lobbied to have the electric chair run on AC to tarnish its image. But Tesla? Tesla stayed focused on the science. The turning point came in 1893 at the Chicago World's Fair. Westinghouse and Tesla lit up the exposition with dazzling displays of AC electricity. proving once and for all that their system was not just safer, but infinitely more practical. The world was watching, and AC won. After conquering the War of the Currents, Tesla was just getting started. With AC in full swing, he turned his attention to other uncharted territories. Among his many groundbreaking inventions was the Tesla coil, a device that could produce high-voltage, low-current electricity. It wasn't just an engineering marvel, it was a glimpse into Tesla's lifelong dream of wireless power. Tesla wasn't satisfied with powering homes and industries. He wanted to power the planet. Warden Cliff Tower, his ambitious project on Long Island, was the embodiment of that dream. The tower was meant to transmit electricity wirelessly across vast distances, revolutionizing the way energy was distributed and used. But as visionary as Wardenclyffe was, it also represented Tesla's greatest challenge. JP Morgan, Tesla's financial backer, initially invested the equivalent of $5 million in today's money into Tesla's tower, but later refused to continue funding the project when Tesla notified him that he'd breached their contract by doubling the size of his tower without first seeking approval. Morgan refused to give more money to the unpredictable Tesla. So the tower project was discontinued and was later dismantled before it could fully realize its potential. Tesla's ideas were too far ahead of their time. While his contemporaries were focused on immediate profits, Tesla was playing the long game, imagining a world that wouldn't take shape for another century. It was both his greatest strength and his greatest curse. Tesla's journey from the child of lightning to the man who lit up the world is one of genius, resilience, and an unwavering belief in the power of innovation. His AC system transformed modern life and his vision for wireless power foreshadowed technologies we now take for granted like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But Tesla's story is also one of heartbreak. He died penniless in 1943, his ideas overshadowed by those of more commercially savvy contemporaries like Edison. Yet today, his name is synonymous with innovation and visionary thinking. From the electric vehicles bearing his name to the global embrace of renewable energy, Tesla's light continues to shine. In the end, perhaps Juka Tesla's prophecy was more accurate than even she could have known. Her son was not just a child of light. He was the man who brought light to the world. Thank you.